Hey folks, it's Brad again, catching up on my RPG a day. This is day two. The Q word is unique. And for me, you know, we played, we played actually a, a bunch. Of, my buddy Ed gave me a list of all the different games that we played when we were in, in junior high and high school. Um, and so they all had their own, you know, unique fashion or, or form or, or mechanic behind them. I remember there being a handful of 2D6 systems, always the D20. Um, but to me, a unique system was the Fantasy Trip, which used um, a base of 3D6. And it was a roll your stat or less thing, right? But it's that bell curve. I love that bell curve. I know I've talked about this before in other videos. Um, but there's just something to that. And if it was easier, you rolled only 2D6 or even 1. Or if it's harder, you rolled 4D6 or even 5 or 6. Um, but it just kind of moves that curve further up the line, right? Uh, but I, I loved the fantasy trip. Uh, but because it, it was also a very simple clean system. You got three stats, and whatever you do, you're trying to roll underneath one of those stats, right? Either, you know, dexterity for attacking and casting spells, uh, strength for lifting up things, and your strength is also your hit points, and then intelligence told you the kinds of things you could learn and how much you could learn. It was, it was great. I loved it. Of course, I had to muddy it up when I ran into RuneQuest. I had to you know, pull things in, buy stuff up. And, but that was my own system. But for me, that was it, unique. The fantasy trip. Steve Jackson got the rights back to that recently, and they had a Kickstarter, I think, last year. Uh, I did buy off on that. I got this huge book or box down here of things. <laughs> but there's some of the flavor that I think he lost by trying to be more universal and it does it feels gerpsy to me um but stories for another day day two room quest not room quest fantasy trip a unique system happy gaming